more and more problems like this today. So if you guys remember, when we talked about multiplying, when we talked about multiplying, we said to simplify first and then multiply, right? Yes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. OK. And then when I said dividing, I said, hey, divide first, then um, simplify, right? But what happens when we have something dividing where we can't divide them? Do you guys see this? Do you guys see how 7x doesn't divide into 2? Yeah. Right? So what we can do in this case is we can actually do something special. What we, we still can simplify this, but what we're going to do is we need to get, we don't want to divide by a radical. So since we can't simplify this, I want to get this radical off the bottom. Now, I can't take the square root of 7, right? But what can I take the square root that includes a 7? Kind of an odd question. But how could I, if I can't take the square root of 7, what can I take the square root of? 7 times? Can't you, can't you multiply it by the quantity? Or no, 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 I mean, like, you multiply by 3 times the radical of 7x? What'd you say? No. 7 times what can I take the square root of? Oh, yeah. You guys know, remember the square root says 7 times the square root of 7 times 7 is just what? 7. So I can't take the square root of 7. The square root of 7 times 7 is 7. Same thing as the square root of 7 squared. The square root and the square. Remember, these have little 2's on there, right? So basically, what I'm trying to make you guys understand is if you can't, take the, if you can't divide and you can't take the square root to simplify this, Multiply it. What you're going to want to do is multiply it by a term, uh, Lauren, that you can take the square root of. So I can multiply. So if I want to take the square root of, set of this term, I need this to be seven times seven, right? Mm -hmm. And what would I need the x to be? Seven. X, x squared as well. So I can multiply by seven times x. Now, why does it have to be the square root of seven times x? The reason being is because can we multiply a number from the outside to the inside? No, right? When we're multiplying radicals, we multiply the numbers on the inside by each other. Multiply to the numerator as well? Absolutely, I just didn't get to it. So now let's look at what happens. So I have 5 times 7 times 2 is 14x. On the bottom here, I could write this as 7 times 7 or x times x, but I'm going to write it as 3 times the square root of 7 squared times x squared. Right? You could write it 7 times 7, x times x, but I'm going to write them as squareds. Because I like using squareds, because remember, ladies and gentlemen, these are square roots, right? So there's a little 2 there. And remember, when the index is the same as the power, you can take the square root. So what's the square root of 7 squared? 7. seven. seven. Square root of x squared? X. x. So your final answer is 5 square root of 14x divided by um, 20 una x. Because square root of 7 squared is 7. 7 times 3 is 21. Square root of x squared is x. That's your final answer. So that is your simplified answer without a radical in the denominator.